вечер в хату, everybody. It's Pan Roman, and today we're gonna learn how to do these kind of neural surfaces. So let's jump into Cinema 4D. Let's start from creating the cylinder and make a polygrid quite dense and also square shape. Oh my god, what a couple of squares. Turn off the caps and make the cylinder editable. Let's rename it as version 1, duplicate it, and name second one as version 2. Move second away a bit and turn it off for now. Go back to first one and select all the edges and choose <laughs> Poke polygons. Then dissolve selected. After go to points mode and select all points. Then choose invert the selection. Then instead of scaling it that will give us wrong results, search for normal move. Then you can click and drag by your mouse or paste the right value in the parameters. I will paste 1.5. <laughs> Pretty smart, dude. Thanks. Let's continue. Press on scroll button and go to the views on a side view. Leave only top and the bottom rows selected. Then you can go back to perspective view and just delete these points. After choose loop selection and select the top loop and holding the control button just move it up. After you can scale it down to zero to get a flat edge. To get rid of shading artifacts let's go to font tab and lower these numbers. Then let's put in our cylinder bevel deformer. Immediately we fucked up all we did before, but don't worry, we just need to go to the offset in the bevel deformer and set really low values. I will leave the offset as 0.2 and set subdivision level to 1. Then lower the angle threshold to get rid of artifacts. Perfect, the first version is done. Let's turn on the second one. Here we need to repeat all we did before, select all the edges, then go to the and dissolve the selected edges. After choose all polygons, select inset and uncheck preserve groups. Then inset it until you have a good gaps. When it's done, just bevel it a bit. Try not to make it very high. Looking great, we've just done a second version. Let's duplicate it and name it version 3. Let's move it aside a bit. We still have our polygons selected. Go to the points mode and select all vertices. Then go back to the polygons and select our today's favorite poke polygons. Then go back to points mode, invert the selection and use the normal move to get the spiky look as we did before. Then you can copy and paste the previous bevel deformer. Let's adjust the offset a bit. And here we have a third version of our neural surfaces. First and third one are quite similar, but the main difference is the gap between these pyramids. Also, if you want to make these awesome knurled surfaces on the complex shapes and waste just a couple clicks to make it look great and simply drag and drop these awesome textures on a complex geometry and get stunning results in seconds, you can check my ArtStation Marketplace to get it. And the great news is if you're my patron, you will get it for free, same as many other bonuses you will get. So hope you like it, enjoy it and learn something new. Don't forget to subscribe on my channel and ring the bell to not miss even more cool stuff. Also leave your comments below and check my art station market when you can find a lot of cool stuff like realistic rain shader pack, six neural surfaces normal maps in 4K resolution, advanced car rig tutorial that covers suspension leading, automatic wheels rotation and dynamic trails creation, modular corn and many more. And if you're my patron you'll get a lot of extra bonuses and digital products for free and all the tutorials project files so be my patreon you can find the link below and don't forget that half of your donations will be transferred to support ukraine that is very important now so stand with ukraine